Hey, Scrappy Friends, welcome back. I was a bit lax in recording a welcome to this one. Uh, I actually recorded this video whilst in Scotland and went to do a nice welcome intro with the sea behind me and forgot. Um, so anyway, this layout is using um, the Zestful collection, I think it is, from DLS Design. Um, there's two photos there with my sister in with my niece, uh, her youngest daughter. And um, the second one's in just in place of a photo of someone whose picture I can't share, which I do actually swap it out for the photo shortly with the person covered up. Uh, the pictures are from my niece's birthday in May. We went to Liverpool, so we are in uh, Las Iguanas here. Uh, we're having a bottomless brunch. Uh, at three o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> and then going to bongo's bingo afterwards so this is our um late lunch early tea in las iguanas and it's amy uh, it's uh, my niece my niece my sister's youngest daughter and she's just coming around the table and doing a selfie with each of us so it's my sister in the top middle and uh, then her sister so my oldest niece uh, in the top right and then my fifth oldest niece sixth oldest niece Karis in the bottom left me and Amy in the mid bottom middle and then what's going to be replaced on the bottom right is the photo of the person uh, whose picture I can't share uh, with Amy there as well so this was before I had replaced my trimmer blade and so I really struggle with this I do end up getting the scissors at it to trim off some furry bits and yeah it's just I hadn't brought my little kind of photo guillotine either with me so when I went to Scotland so I didn't have that to remedy these little bits either um, so I am using the three by four pocket life cards from this collection to create a grid um great thing as well about the size of these collections they fit in the hey little magpie uh, wallets so the, the ones that are designed to take 12 by 12 because they are bigger than 12 by 12 um so it fits nicely in one of them and here we go i've replaced the photo with the person that it is i'm now just cutting some bits off those um sort of journaling type uh, three by four card pocket life cards just because they had like words or phrases that I thought were quite fitting for what I was saying um I I then I'm like oh where am I going to put the journaling I do end up using one of those kind of faux clipboards tucked in behind one of the photo mats with my journaling on so these are stamps from this collection I'm going to use that currently stamp because it does fit nicely on that little ephemera pit die cut piece and I'm just going to stamp that to show you now uh, I do a condition stamp with my uh, rubber with the eraser because it, it just gets the you know fill makes it use so the ink sticks to it ink grabs to it better I'm just making sure it's stamping okay on the um, packing there and it's stamped nicely. A uh, bit of a smudge because that was shiny that I was stamping onto. And then stamp it perfectly onto the uh, onto that die cut piece. I'm then going to use this other stamp set. Now there's two stamp sets with this collection because it's a XL collection that I get. So it's the 12 by 12 scrapbooking collection plus the pocket life collection as well. Um, so I've got two stamp sets with it being the XL. And there was these pre-made wax seals as well with this collection too. So I do use some of them. And um, yeah, so I first of all get everything stuck down. So I use a lot of the patterned pattern pieces from the pocket life cards uh, to map the photos so you know you've probably seen um, recently I've done quite a few grid layouts so this was actually the first grid layout this was the start of the the grid kick for me um, and I really enjoyed making this and it, it come together quite quickly once I'd got the photos cut and decide what I was doing and yeah I just um, was having these 
pocket life project life cards three by four cards it is just really easy to use them as layers and mats for photos so i really like doing that with them um, i'm just now marking where the middle of the card middle of the the page is for making sure i'm getting this uh, nice and centered and then working out how far up from the bottom i have for placing these so once I've, i know top to bottom where i want it to go i've then brought the ruler across so i can get it to go left to right in the center so i'm going to get the other cards or most of the cards stuck down um, i don't stick down the card that's going the cards that are going to have stamping beneath them i stick the other ones the other three down to begin with and then I'll come back and do the stamping for the uh, top left, the bottom middle and bottom right cards. And um, yeah, just, just getting them all lined up now where I'm happy with them, making sure they're straight. So I'm not sticking that middle one down at the bottom yet, but I am using it to make sure I am positioning where that one of Amy and Karis are being stuck. So... Amy, the birthday girl, she is little O's mum. And then on the far, the top right, um, the picture of Amy with her sister Amy, Emma, sorry, that's Emma and Amy. Uh, Emma is baby I's mum. So you would have seen um, little O and baby I on my channel quite a bit uh, over the last, well, last five months for baby I and uh, two years, well, last year really for little O since we've been sharing or I've been allowed to share his pictures. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, and you would have seen Emma and Amy on the channel for years and years because I've been scrapping them for 20 odd years. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I've just coming in now with the stamping. So, I've used the ga gasoline bag, uh, glassine, whatever you call it, bag from the wax seals to mask off part of where the stamping's going below that uh, card of, of me and amy just because i only wanted it the width of the um the card uh, and it is slightly wider than that so uh so yeah uh, also just moving that top right one slightly because i hadn't got it quite positioned right so coming in now with the last of the stamping pointing into that last uh bottom right card and um you notice with the stamping I've done that the arrows are pointing inwards into the layout to lead the eye into the layout. Um, so each of those three spots, it's all pointing towards towards the layout. I am um, then just, this piece gets moved about all over the place around this card because this is where our cluster is going to go. So I think it needs to go there. So that, that journaling piece that I use and I do actually end up moving it in the end and you'll see that shortly. Going through the die cut pieces now to uh, get some clusters around the photos just while I'm looking for some pieces. Uh, if you do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and, uh, if you, and let me know in the comments what it is that you have enjoyed. And also, you know, if you, you're not sure what to say, but just pop it an emoji, represent scrapbooking or your favourite emoji, just so you know i've know you've been, you've stopped by uh just say hi uh sake of engagement it really does help help the channel um so yeah just pulling these little flowers out of the ephemera pack uh there's two again with having the excel there's two ephemera packs with this um so this one's got lots of like icons and and sort of spots to build your your embellishment clusters on and flowers and um loving these stars and balloons with the you know the tails on them and with it being a birthday i thought it was quite fitting to to use the ones with the balloons um so yeah just layering them up in that that last cluster there at the bottom um on the right and adding some flowers in just to you know bring that those other colors from the page across into the cluster and then i think i do the bottom one yep so using one of those big circles as a anchor point for my cluster 
um, with not having one of like the labels there so the the bits I've cut off from the the other cards uh, to act as, as labels as tuckies because I don't have one of them there as an anchor point I've used that big circle die cut and then laid a, a wax seal on top of that and a flower and you'll see as well I've also with the the stars with the the balloon tails on uh, I've popped another one of them there on that uh, cluster in the middle bottom uh, was playing about with with adding a camera to that cluster over the side and decide not to I've then thought because of the circle on the bottom in the middle I needed to add those into the other cluster so I've just cut that piece in half um, that's got the word in around the edge and that's actually brought in from the other ephemera pack with this kit um, I'm adding in that pink flower there because it separates the pale blue and the dark blue of the wax seal and the circle it's sat on top of and then just pulling out some some hearts to add extra little bits um, to mirror the heart that's on on the cluster on the right as well going to write the journal in because this is actually going to be a tucky piece that comes in and out um, I wanted it at the top so you were only going into the top of the page text to get it out and I've actually wrote some journaling on the back as well because I didn't have enough room um, I think that's really it then I'm just going to go around with my wet glue just I use my wet glue because I can just stick the nozzle underneath the pieces without having to deconstruct the layout stick everything down and the wax seals I've got those 3M uh, double sided adhesive spots on the back of them uh, which really helps in making that easy stick down it's really strong adhesive as well so just going to get that all stuck down and then we will be done um, there are some layout, some close-ups coming up uh, and yeah, I forgot to cover the face-up of the person who I can't share the photos of. So I've had to get imaginative <laughs> with how I've done that. Um, and you can see I've moved that, that journaling spot, my journaling little tucky to the top left now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day.